Okay, this is the 1985 C-Ray 270DA. Uh, it's got the radar arch, which is good. It's got the nice bimini, which is good, which is made for this boat. It's nice stainless stuff. Uh, it's got the dual controls. Battery's still there. It, this seat is a little different. In 84, they had the helm seat very different. And now they have this going on. This is kind of a cool thing. If you want to sit and facing that way, you go that way. Sit facing that way, you go that way. That's cool. Just gonna make a quick video of this to show what it is. And the interior of these boats. Just like this. Got a laminate floor instead of carpet. Yeah, it's got the princess stove. Well, there's the cushions for the back of the back seat. So it's still got those, which is odd. And then it's got the interior cushions. Let's see. It's got that type of head. And these are cool boats for camping on Fire Island. Some people really, really like them. Uh, it's got some side glass for that bimini up there, which is cool. Uh... Is this your side or the front and side? Looks like just the side glass for that bimini. Uh, there's the princess stove. Hey, look at this. Is there heat and air happening on here? <laughs> what do we got in here? <laughs> you still? What do we got in here? Got a AC unit. Pretty cool. Where do you find those? Let's get a better video of that. There's the model numbers on it. I hope my video isn't blurry. Let's see. What's that? It's got a little blower on it. Got a little AC happening here. Whether it works, I don't know. It's a marine air system, which is good. And that's that. Sorry for making you seasick with this, but this is what we have to do. It's even got the curtains intact, which is those old bamboo curtains. It's the table that folds out right there. You could actually use that to make that whole area down there a bed, which is a weird, cool thing. You take that table out. Ready to be replaced. Mm. There you go. So that's this boat so far. Got that. It's kind of pretty cool. Got the AC in there. That's nice. It's worth something. Here's the problem with this boat. Right here. Trying to make this one video, sorry. Fried throttle bodies. They look like throttle bodies. Nose. Got that Thunderbolt ignition. And yes, we have two of them. The hot water here that's probably no good anymore. Somebody relocated that uh, trim pump motor. Uh, thunderbolt ignition. Blah, blah, blah. The engines are supposedly frozen some. Let me just see one more thing. A couple of V8 situations here. And somebody at some time put a new starter in it. It's one of those big jobbies. Uh, you got the Sureflow domestic water pump. 
And that's basically what you got here with this boat. So that's it. So Sea Ray people know what it is. Uh, somebody absconded with the fish finder, apparently. Uh, possibly had radar on it at one time. Well, I'm not seeing it. So... Let me look and see if they did something scary with that radar like they do. Nah, I know the video can't show anything in here. You can't see shit in here. No. Yeah, this is the aft cabin, which is something I really like about these. I'm sitting back in the aft cabin, so you see you get a lot more room on this boat. And I actually like it for a 27-footer. It's pretty cool. And I forgot to check the hatches. They're usually Bomars. Oh, there's some crazing in the glass. Let me just go do this. Making a little video on purpose. Mmm. Check out the Bomars have made. Hold on. It's windless. <sighs> Pretty heavy duty. And I want to go inside and see what it is. That's 5 8 world, so. That's it. There's the boat.